So my first year drop shipping on eBay, quarter four completely changed the game for me. But it wasn't that easy right from the start because at first I really had no idea what products to sell. In fact, when I started drop shipping, I put a lot of pressure on myself to really make sure that it worked because I had tried a lot of online businesses before that and none of them worked and I was running out of time, I was running out of patience, I was running out of money and I knew I wanted to quit my job and replace it with some sort of online income. So I found dropshipping, I went all in on it as kind of like my last hope. And after a few months, I did eventually find a really effective way to do product research. It's like a three-step formula. And that worked really well for me until I hit Halloween. Because on my product research formula, the thing that I do is I look for products that are already selling really well on eBay. And I can see, hey, what sold in the past month? I'm going to sell those same items. But when it comes time for like Halloween or Christmas, that doesn't work anymore. So suddenly I had another big problem because by the time I realized that those products are selling well, it's too late. Halloween's over, Christmas is over. So I need to be more proactive about this. And I realized that after Halloween was over, that I had left so much money on the table because I didn't list up the right products at the right time all these other people made a ton of money selling Halloween items and I didn't. And I knew that Christmas was right around the corner and I could not make the same mistake because I really needed to get quarter four right if I was going to quit my job. So I went back to the drawing board and it came up with a new formula. Now my old three-step formula definitely does work throughout the year, but for the holiday seasons, I put in a new strategy and I put it in just in time, just before Black Friday that first year and that quarter four, because of that, I saw explosive growth. So much sales volume, and it grew my store so much that I actually did better in January than I actually did in December, just because I picked up momentum in my store. And that then allowed me to quit my job that following year to be able to do this full time. And it's all thanks to having this new product research formula down and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. So take a look at this screenshot right here. This is a screenshot from a website called Google Trends. And Google Trends will show you how often a search term is searched for throughout the year. And for this case, we're looking at the word Halloween. As you can see, it becomes really popular search term in October. And then at the end of October, it dies off. And then people don't search for it again until the next year. So what does this tell us? This tells us that during this time period, this is when people are searching and thinking about Halloween, and it's also when people are going to be buying Halloween items. Now you don't need to use Google Trends. The point is that about a month before any sort of major holiday happens, that's when people start to buy items associated with that holiday. So you want to be prepared. You want about a month before to start listing up items for these major holidays. And not all holidays are created equal. So primarily, the ones that we focus on are Halloween and Christmas. Now, people don't really think about Halloween when they think about quarter four, but Americans spend a lot of money on Halloween on different items, so do not dismiss it. It's also a good way to kind of get in the quarter four mindset because Christmas can be really, really crazy, so you wanna be ready for it. Other types of or holidays or times of the year you want to start thinking about in terms of seasonality are winter and summer as well. There's different items associated with those times of the year that people will be searching for as well. So be prepared, start listing those items about a month before summer and about a month before winter. So the question is, what items should you sell for those holidays and for those seasons? Now this actually is not that difficult. All I do is sit down with a notepad and a pen and I make a list. Okay, for Halloween, what things do people buy? I, I remember back to my childhood, walking through the streets for Halloween. What do I see? I see lots of costumes, I see candy, I see those candy buckets, I see a ton of decorations. So I make a list of all those items and then I start to find them on the supplier's website that I really like using. I find those items and then those are the items that I'm going to drop ship. Now, 
kind of a recommendation here, decorations are huge. Decorations for Christmas, decorations for Halloween, those do really, really well. Now, most people, they don't wanna do this, right? They just want a product research formula that tells them statistically what items are going to do better. So most people are going to be too lazy to sit down and make this list. Don't be one of those people. Do not be lazy about this. In fact, I kind of think of this as a lazy method because you don't have to do the research. It's just kind of you sitting down, remembering your childhood, remembering Christmas, and making a list of items that you see around your house or that you see for those holidays. It's really not that hard. You kind of use your imagination here. All right, so I'm gonna sit down at my computer and start typing out a list here for Halloween. You kind of see my thought process here. Now I'm going to talk, I'm going to list down rather specific things that I've seen around Halloween that people might buy and also just keywords that I know people would be searching for. And I'm gonna do it broad and also narrow as well. And the whole goal here is just to create a long list of things that we can search for. So we have here, um, costumes, we said, candy, candy buckets, decorations. That's really broad, right? But then we have maybe some keywords like jack o' lanterns, pumpkins, um, skeletons, witches. You know, anything like this, any sort of list like this will, will be helpful because what we're going to do here now is go over to our supplier's website like I'm going to be using Walmart in this example, and I'm gonna start searching for all this. Now, the, the first thing you could literally just search for is Halloween, okay? And we'll see what comes up, because they're really good. One thing you'll notice that, that Walmart is really good at showing you what the most popular items are based on last year's data and, and years of data. So they know what people are looking for the most. So you can see right here we have candy, we have kids' costumes. We also have inflatables, which corresponds to decorations, right? Or projection lights, which correspond to decorations as well. So the list is great, but really just searching on the supplier's website is going to reveal a lot to you. So now we can open up, like I'm gonna click on the one that says inflatables. And you'll see right here, like they're going to put at the front the ones, again, that they think are going to do really well this year. So things like this very generic kind of mummy inflatable, um, this, this Jack Skellington one, this pumpkin one right here. I mean, all these things right here, obviously you can't list up all of these. So I would go for ones that they put at the top and that are shown to be bestsellers. Sometimes they have words on them saying that they are a bestseller. And I would go for those ones as well because you still gotta be somewhat picky here if you don't have years of data to work on. Another thing that, let's search for something else. So let's search for Halloween skeletons. We'll see what comes up. All right, a few here. Looking for anything that's like a bestseller or has a bunch of reviews. Like this one's pretty good right here, even though it's a third party seller. Yeah. So lots of good options here. And the other thing that you can do is actually just go to the Walmart website because a lot of times right on the homepage, yeah, they're already talking about Halloween. Right now I'm recording this middle of September and they already give you some ideas right here. Not a ton, that'll start picking up in a few weeks. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna search for now Halloween decorations. And let's see, yep. So they're putting some, like this one has 14 reviews, which isn't a ton, but better than all the other ones. This one is two, six. So these ones that are more popular, these were the ones that I would list up. These first few, I wouldn't go too far. This one obviously is pretty good, pretty popular, 84. This one has 11 reviews. So all these ones that you see that people are already buying or have bought in the past, those are the ones I, was, I would go for. But how many of these items should you be listing? After all, if you list just Halloween items into your store, then after October 31st, you're not gonna be making any more sales because no one's going to be buying Halloween stuff. So this is why you kind of have to have an even split. About a month before, start listing up the seasonal or holiday items. And I would say that that's what you should be mostly concentrating on. But throughout the rest of the year, make sure you list those items that sell all year long. 
And in order to do that, you really have to have down the three-step product research formula. And if you're not familiar with how to do that, I have a great video for you right here. Click on that, I will show you step by step how to do the three-step product research formula. So click right here, and I'll see you over there in just a few minutes.